Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in today. This is Prophetess Nikki here coming back into your homes to encourage you yet one more day in your faith. I want to thank all of you for your continued support in purchasing God's book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness through the Holy Spirit, people of God. You are going to get the things that you have been trusting and believing God for. Some of you have been praying for a long time. You've been fasting for a long time and in that book is going to show you some principles that you may have missed along the way because sometimes we have to do the right thing longer to get the results okay you're going to be blessed by that book you can purchase it on amazon.com barnesandnobles.com in ebook and paperback format all of you are reaching out a lot of you are through email i'm going to leave that information in the description box below on how you can purchase that book get that book to change your life to change your children's life if you have anyone in your life that is close to you glory to god that needs a change that needs to get out of unhealthy toxic cycles if you are trying and trying Glory to God, but you keep hitting a brick wall and you cannot get out of something, people of God. Get the book. It's going to change your life, people of God. I love all of you. God bless you. Now, if you tune into our channel and you are not subscribed, why don't you hit the red button to become part of our family here? And don't forget to tap that notification bell. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May God bless you and keep you. Glory to God. Listen, people of God, people wanted you to settle for mediocrity and crumbs. Yep. People wanted you to settle for mediocrity and crumbs, people of God. They sent things into your life to test your limits. The moment that you refuse not to settle, you refuse not to settle, you refuse to stand, glory to God, in the crumbs, glory to God. The moment that you said, no, I will not settle for mediocrity, no, I will not receive your crumbs, glory to God. God, the moment that you did that and stood in your own power, glory to God, the enemy began to test your limits. The enemy began to push your buttons. The enemies of your life have applied pressure to you to test your limits, but they have failed, people of God. These people have gotten more than what they have anticipated from you. You know why? Because you refuse to settle. And they're going to come in to push your buttons. They're going to come in to test your limits any kind of way that they can because the enemies of your life are outdone. This brand new you that God has transformed, these people don't even know who you are. The devil cannot identify with who God has created you to become. And guess what? This is how God has allowed it to be because they had time. God gave them time. God was long-suffering to the people in your life and they refuse to back down. They refuse, glory to God, to receive. So now it is over, people of God. Be careful because the enemy is going to come in to test your limits and to set and to test your buttons. They're going to push your buttons. They're going to set Test your limits because you refuse to set up for mediocrity in your life. You refuse to receive a crumble from these people. They wanted you to accept crumbs, people of God. You said no more. You were made for something greater. Get that down in your spirit. You were made for something greater, just like Esther was. Did you know that? You were made for something greater. Oh, glory to God, just like Esther was. God, why are you different than the rest? And this is why you stand out amongst the best of them. They call you weird, but you are not weird. You are peculiar. You're from a royal priesthood. You're from a chosen generation. Glory to God. God has wired you different than the rest. And this is why you stand out amongst the best of them, people of God. And you remember when things walk away from you, when things walk out of your life, when things drop out of your life, when things fall to the ground, glory to God, God will never remove anything from your life without replacing it with something better. 
You may not understand what God is doing right now. You may not. You may not know how he's going to do it. You may not know how God is going to bring forth your deliverance. But one thing for sure, you can trust that he is going to do it. Glory to God. God is your deliverer. Glory to God. He's your blood banner. He's your Jehovah Jireh. He's your Jehovah Rapha. He's El Shaddai. He's El Elyon. He is the most high God. He is everything that you need him to be never settle for mediocrity never settle for the crumbs that the people try to give you you know why because you were made for something greater when you begin to question God listen when you go through hard times we all have when you begin to question God in hard times we have to be careful with that because when we trust, listen, when we question God in hard times, the enemy will try to attack you. This trial has taught you who you really are. Everything that you've gone through has taught you who you really are, how strong you are. And just because, glory to God, we are walking out our spiritual journey. It doesn't prevent us from coming face to face with darkness. It's going to show you how to use the darkness. It's going to show you how to use the opposition to grow. God builds us by taking us through the struggle. God is building you by taking you through trials and tribulations. He's building you through your struggles. God has to break you. And bless you. And then God will give you to the world. Just like he did his son. Glory to God. Before you are blessed. You will go through a season of being broken. Oh glory to God. You are being broken. Right now people of God. God is building you through your brokenness. So don't be weary in well doing. Because you are going to reap a harvest at the proper time. Did you hear me? People of God, you do not be weary in doing good. No, you continue to do good. Glory to God, because you are going to reap a harvest at the proper time. This, listen, this is why out of everything that came to push you back in life, oh God, you had a lot of things that tried to take you out and to push you out of life. Life came to push you back, but it couldn't. And the reason why it couldn't, because God made you for something greater. Nothing will be able to keep you down. People threw dirt on top of you and thought that was the end of your story. Oh, but glory be to God. They forgot that you were a seed planted in the ground. You were a seed planted in good soil on a solid foundation. Listen, glory to God. My God, be encouraged, people of God. You can never kill what? God is already deemed dead, people of God. You cannot kill a man that's already dead. That's why a lot of things that you all are going through, it doesn't mean anything to you. Because what people don't understand around you, you cannot kill a man that's already dead. Glory to God. And the dissatisfaction that you may be feeling right now and those unsettling feelings that you have are telling signs. Listen. These feelings that you are having, the dissatisfaction that you are facing, some of you feel unsettled. This is because these are telling signs that are pointing you towards something greater. And living a mediocre life is not a season that you can stay in because destiny is calling you to stretch yourself a little bit more, people of God. You will not stay in a season of mediocrity. Glory to God. You will not stay in this place. You will not continue to wander around this mountain. Obey the Lord, people of God. Trust him. You can trust him. God is calling you to a higher purpose. Are you ready to go higher in the Lord? Are you ready, people of God, to get everything that God has for you? Are you ready for the change that you have been asking God for? Are you really ready for the transition in your life? Are you really ready for the trajectory to change in a glorious path in your life? Are you ready, people of God? Glory to God, because God 
is calling you to a higher purpose. And don't let the enemy come in to push your buttons. Don't let him test your limits. Glory to God. People do that to you because you have refused to settle for mediocrity in your life. You have refused to accept the crumbs. When you have boundaries set in place, or oh, people don't like you for that. But you keep your walls up. You keep your boundaries up as the Holy Spirit leads you to place the right boundaries, people of God. You were made for something greater. Never accept the enemy's offer. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it appears to be. Oh, glory to God. Never accept his offer, people of God. It's going to cause you more pain than what you want. It's going to cause you to stay in sin and a mess longer than what you are willing to stay for. And sin will always cost more than what you are willing to pay for. Do you hear me, lovely family? Sin will always cost you more than what you are willing to pay for. And it will always allow you, if you're not careful, if you take the, the devil's bait, if you take that bait, you are going to stay in a mess longer than what you wanted to people of God. You were made for something greater. Don't you ever forget that. The book, Becoming a Master of Divine Consciousness, is going to show you that. You are made for something greater. Everything that you are aspiring to be is already within you, people of God. You just decree and declare, line up with the word of God. That book is going to teach you how to resonate Oh, glory to God with who God said you are. And you must know the word of God to be able to do that. Get the book for yourself. Get the book for a loved one, people of God. Get the book so you can get off of that hamster wheel in your life and stay off of it, people of God. You are not going to keep wondering. Glory to God. Some of you have been in cycles for years and years and years in the book. Becoming a master of divine consciousness is going to show you how to get out of those seasons and those negative and toxic cycles with narcissistic people. And it's going to give you the grace to do it. It's going to give you the hope to do it. It's going to give you the power, the confidence, and the courage to walk away and stay away, people of God. Your desires are going to line up with God's desires through that book. Thank you so much for supporting what God is doing. I love all of you so much. God bless you. Until next time, don't forget to like the videos. Don't forget to share. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave a positive comment if it's resonating with you. I love you. Thank you for your donations. Glory to God. I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.